It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. I want to get into coaching. We're at BBB Mastermind Group. Michael's a conquer coach. Now, I'm seeing like a massive trend towards coaching. There's a lot of coaches. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of coaching groups. There's a lot of different uh, things you can get involved in to the point. I actually had to like leave a coaching thing that I was in because I was like, I'm just overcoached at some point. Like there's not enough hours in a day and you're getting too many perspectives. And so you got to kind of pick who, who you're getting coached by and how you're getting coached and what, what, what the group is. Michael, I'm going to give you a little bit of a break, but I want to come back to have you kind of give us the conquer, uh, the conquered look, like, what does it look like? What does it feel like if somebody hasn't heard of conquer before, or is interested in a, a program like conquer, I've got, a. uh, uh Here's like my court, my coaching portfolio, if you will. Uh, we have a CEO roundtable group in Minneapolis where it's $2 million to $100 million revenue businesses generally. And it's, and it's, you know, just the CEOs. And the format is you meet once a month for four hours. So it's not like an accountability group per se. I shouldn't say that. It can, be, it can function as an accountability group if there's something that you're asking everybody to hold you accountable to. But it's uh, there's like an update sequence, you know, an hour or two spent just like everybody getting on the same page about what everybody's got going on in their lives. And then they do a deep dive. And and I like this, uh, although it's hard to like hard to decide what to present and how to present and uh, if you should be presenting. But everybody kind of gives like the most pivotal thing in their business that they need to figure out in the next month. And so we look at things as uh, we score them on a scale of like one to four. How urgent is it? How relevant is it to like the rest of the group? Like, is it going to serve just that person or is, it, is everybody going to benefit from it? And then how, how, um, yeah, what's the third one? Urgent, relevant, um, impactful or something. I forget what the third one is. But basically, like how big of an impact is it going to have? Mm-hmm. Uh, it might be urgent, relevant, but not be a huge deal. And so we grade everything in the top two that everybody kind of votes on have to present. And so you get like, you give it 10 minutes of background. You get 10 minutes of questions and then about 10 minutes of like feedback. And generally it's feedback by example, as in like not, I think you should do this. That wouldn't be a piece of feedback that you would get. You know, I think you should do X, Y, Z. The piece of feedback that you would generally get is, in my experience, here's a similar situation that we lived through. Or I've, you know, I've talked to Michael Gregory and he explained to me a situation that he had been through. So you're always kind of talking about your experience. It just always seems easier to get coached when somebody's relaying a, a story that they had. So I do that see you around people group. I'm in a conquer uh, coaching program as well. I'm going to let Michael talk a little bit more about conquer. And then I have a board of directors. And so they're, they function as a coach for me as well. And last, but definitely not least, I'm in a quarterly mastermind group that we call BBB, which is kind of the impetus of where bookkeeping beer and BS came from. If you guys haven't heard that story, I'll spare it today. But we just get a bunch of business owners together. We drink some bourbon, drink some beer. Uh, we like to say optional bourbon, serious business, mandatory BS. So you don't have to drink, but we just try to get the right people in the room and share ideas and, and come up with big things. So so that's what we're doing here right now in Nashville. Um, and it's literally where bookkeeping beer and BS got to start. So I've had to turn other coaching programs down because I just feel like I just, like get this. You're just getting information from too many places. Rob and Dave sitting next to me here. What do you guys have from like a coaching standpoint? Any mentorships, any other coaching things that you're? I was, I was in this coaching program and this guy, Michael Gregory, was my coach for a bit. Oh, really? <laughs> heard, I've heard of him. I remember so, that. First hand. First hand. No, I mean, it's, it's always fun. Grew the business to a certain point that I realized that I needed to get some outside um, help. And so that's when I started looking at coaching. And um, Michael and I worked together for basically two years. And so to another coach, get a new perspective, a little bit of change in kind of what we're looking for and all. And uh, that accountability and the weekly stuff. And it, it's interesting, just so much of what Michael has said coming from a different coach has been received differently. And, it, and it's just one of those things, like sometimes, like you said, you could have too many coaches all telling you something. Mm-hmm. And they could be saying the same thing, but just a, sometimes it's just the messenger is a little different or just where you're at that that advice now makes more sense than yep. when you or or I've just been worn down in my stubbornness and finally doing what I was supposed to do. 